When you put competition and budget in the same sentence, you get Tech Yes City. And today we've been invited to participate in the Xbox Game Pass PC Challenge, where we have been given a budget of two and a half thousand USD to build the smallest and most powerful gaming PC possible. Now today's video is sponsored by Xbox Game Pass for PC. And they have this game that you're seeing in the gameplay right here called Grounded available now. It's the smallest game we've seen yet and they challenged us naturally to build the smallest PC to play it. And now we just got back from our local PC hardware store where we've got five components here, but we still had to get another three components at the best prices possible. And so what we're going to end up with today is a 10700K and RTX 2080 Ti in a small mini ITX build. Let's go check out all these components, how much we paid for them and the price point tally. But also if you guys want to learn more about Grounded and the Xbox Game Pass for PC, then I'll put all the relevant links in the description below. Let's get into it. Welcome back to Tech Yes City and these five components that we just pulled out of the boot here tallied up to 2,305 Aussie dollars. Now the budget I'm allocated here is two and a half thousand USD. And when I converted that to Australian dollars, it was 3,578. So the Australian dollar is currently weaker than the United States dollar. And that's the budget I have to go by. Another thing too, is that we have to pay 10% tax in Australia, which is calculated into all these prices here that I'm showing you guys. But that aside, it doesn't matter. I'm still gonna do the best I can where we've got a 2080 Ti, which was on sale for $1,700 Aussie dollars. It's now gone up $200 since I bought it. So that is a really good deal. And I need to get these deals in order to have the best chance of winning this competition. We've also got a H60 to cool down the CPU, a small form factor 650 watt power supply, LD03 mini ITX case here from Silverstone and a one terabyte NVMe from Kingston. Now the three parts that we've got here on the desk separated from these five parts, we got on an eBay sale. And I managed to find this sale off aussiebargain.com.au where if you're paying with a afterpay service, you got 10% off. And so we managed to score a 10700K for 665 Aussie dollars making it cheaper than any retailer had it on sale for. Now we also don't get a cooler included with the CPU, hence why we got the water cooler for it, a 120 mil solution. Then we've got the 3600 megahertz DDR4 32 gigabyte kit of G-Skill CL16. This stuff, we got it for $319 with $30 off with that coupon. And since this memory is aggressively overclocked to 3600 megahertz, it enables us to squeeze out more FPS, especially if we're going to couple that with the 10700K, which we can also overclock. Then the last piece of the puzzle is the Z490 ASRock Mini ITX. We got this for 289 Aussie dollars with that sale coupon code delivered to our door. So these three components off eBay all had free shipping, which really made it lucky for me because when I tallied up the total here, we came in to 3,578 Aussie dollars, making me not have a single dollar to spare. So what are we waiting for? Let's shrink down that big ATX size case into a small PC that can play grounded.
So we've now completed the build here and in the back we are benchmarking and overclocking and we'll talk about that soon. But this build right here, the mini grounded PC was super easy to complete. I was actually surprised how easy this case is to work with. The only problem I came into was the cooler mounted the traditional way was reading the texts sort of like the wrong way. So taking that cooler and rotating it 90 degrees to the left makes it so we can read the logo properly on it. And I gotta say there's a bit of room inside for this build so we can still see all our components without cables covering them. And another thing is too, we've got a push-pull airflow setup here with dual fans on the 120 mil radiator for overclocking the CPU. And then we've got the exhaust fan. Though the graphics card is getting a little bit toasty. It is a full-sized RTX 2080 Ti and it, I would like it to have some airflow from the side here as this glass is getting quite warm. But that aside, let's take a look at what we've done coming into this game to get the best FPS possible. So right here, we've overclocked our CPU to 5.1 gigahertz, and you may notice only eight threads, and that's because we've disabled eight threads. So we've disabled hyper-threading, so we've only got eight cores, eight threads. And because I've already tested grounded with CPU performance, I find it runs slightly better with hyper-threading disabled. And that also enables us to overclock our CPU a little bit higher, which I'm impressed here with the temperatures on a 120 mil rad. We're only going up to around 66 degrees in the Heaven benchmark, which is still pushing out over 500 FPS. As for the graphics card, we have overclocked that as well, but it is starting to throttle because it is getting pretty hot. So hopefully this overclock and this performance right here is going to win us this competition. But another thing we have done as well, we've disabled the Spectre and Meltdown updates, we've tuned up Windows, and we're gonna give this the best possible chance we can to win. So let's boot it up at both 1080p and 4K resolutions and see what FPS we can get. So we're in the game, we've just started out, but what I wanna check out is how much of a difference our overclock on our graphics card is going to make in this game. So what we've done here is we've hotkeyed our two profiles on our graphics card overclock, one which is F8 to default and then the other F7 to our overclock. And we can just lock that in real time and we can see here that we actually didn't gain any FPS here. This is quite surprising. We gained about two FPS, I think. So at 1080p high settings, this game is currently CPU bound. And so even though our CPU is, one of the threads is only going to 70%, it looks like we are currently CPU bound, which is actually surprising. So we're gonna run a big benchmark now, even with the overclocked GPU and we're just gonna see what FPS we can pull. So this game right here called Grounded is a new first person, either single player or co-op game where you can play with your friends online. And it's basically a survival game where you're shrunk down to the size of an ant. And it's coming to console and PC with the Xbox Game Pass platform. And even though I got early access to this game, anyone can play this now on PC this year of 2020. Now you can play this for free if you've got the Xbox Game Pass for PC. So what we can see through this gameplay here is that it's such a vibrant, huge world. And what we've got to do within here is build, craft things, and also fight our way through to get through the objectives and explore more things to eventually unshrink ourselves back to the size of a normal human. However, in order to get to this final objective, it is actually quite difficult. And I got to the stage where I found this oak tree and then a big spider ended up getting me. Though before I do eventually get eaten up by that spider, I did play at 1080p and both 4K and benchmarked at high settings at both these resolutions. And this PC managed to do an absolutely fine job. I mean, it would definitely want to, seeing as it's pretty much one of the best spec PCs you can get out there for gaming. And not only that, we've tuned it on top of that on both the CPU, memory, and the GPU. But looking a little bit deeper into this game, I'm personally really enjoying the survivability aspect where you've got to keep eating food, otherwise you'll then lose health, and you've got to keep drinking fresh water, otherwise again, you'll lose health. 
and there's other elements to the game like crafting your own weapons i managed to craft a pebble axe i actually like this for not just uh, crafting and getting more materials but you can just block quickly with it and the pace of the weapon is also pretty good now besides that there is unique factors to this game where there's say for instance a stink bug will be attacking a spider and if you wish to get the spider then you can creep in and get a sneaky on that spider so there is really different elements to the game that I'm personally not used to, especially when it comes to um, survivability games. There's, they bring in this element of, hey, you can take an opportunity to survive. And that's a really cool thing. I mean, Obsidian do this with some of their original titles. I mean, if you guys remember the Knights of the Old Republic 2 and Pillars of Eternity, Obsidian are the masterminds behind that. So I'm definitely really enjoying this game. But with that aside, let's get to a conclusion now because we've finished up testing the FPS with over half an hour of benchmarking here in total. So let's take a look at what we've got. But anyway, here we are now with the benchmark numbers all finished up for you guys. And I had to do one thing to this PC and that is take off the side glass panel that was covering our graphics card. And with this panel off, we then got our GPU temperatures going under 70 degrees, which was very good considering this was with an overclock and this is the noise that you're going to be hearing whilst you're playing. And once we did this, I decided to not only retest the 4K numbers, but retest the 1080p numbers. And we got around 140 average FPS on 1080p high settings. And then at 4K high settings, we got over 70 average FPS. So I was extremely impressed by what this PC could do. And as opposed to grounded the game, the best thing about this PC is that I don't have to unshrink it. I can keep it small the way it is. And with all that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's shrunk down mini ITX gaming PC. Hopefully we have beat the competition. I actually won't know until this video is launched. Though speaking of launched, as you're watching this gameplay, Grounded is now officially launched. You can get it with the Xbox Game Pass PC. It's $4.95 a month during the beta access. And this includes access to all these other games that Microsoft has in its large PC game library. You can get access to games like Flight Sim and Halo Infinite. These are titles that will be available on Xbox Game Pass for PC on release. And there's also over 100 games that you can play today if you decide to sign up. And it's also showing that it's got the sign up for the first month for a dollar. And you can also get access to perks where I'm going to be signing up and getting access to that Spotify offer too. That's pretty cool. Six months free Spotify. Anyhow, I'll put some links in the description below and fingers crossed that we win this competition. I think that I scored a heap of good deals in order to make this happen. And I mean, hitting that budget exactly to the dollar is something that I've never done in the history of the channel. So hopefully the competition will bring something to the table to match what Tech Yes has got. And with that aside, I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye, but also if you've stayed this far and you want to see the content the moment it drops, sub button, ring that bell, and I'll see you next time. Peace out for now again. Bye. I'm just going to go shrink myself and get back to this game. Oh, 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 oh.